All right, so today we're gonna be walking you guys through a easy go flip seat that I bought off Amazon. And we're just gonna put it on the little golf cart here. Make it easier for me to take all this stuff I just set up for Christmas back out to our other garage. So the first step, you're gonna remove, there'll be a bolt up here and over on the other side. And I had seven sixteenths nylon nuts and a little washer that was here. So it might be different on yours. And then there's a Phillips head on the top. So remove those, that way we can lift up and get this little guy off. And I'm probably just gonna use a broom or something to just hold it up or I don't have to take the whole thing off. So I'm gonna try to skip a few steps and I'm just gonna take off these two on both sides and just take off this whole assembly at once. And I've got a little pole that's holding that off just a little bit. So those bolts are a, whatever we got here, 14 millimeter, they're probably standard, but I'm gonna use the 14 and get those off and see if the whole thing will come off in one step. Get a universal socket and an extension and been able to use my impact here. So that's making this really So the whole assembly thing. came off really easily. So I would use a 9 16 and use the uh, standard instead of the metric that I told you just keep from rounding anything off. And it came off and our little pole is doing a fine job here. So now on to the next step. So next thing we're gonna do is put these brackets on, make sure that the metal part is flush on the outside. And I went ahead and finger tightened these screws. That way I can use my impact to get them in all the way. So be real careful on these instructions. These look just like the ones you need, but they actually have a smaller head and they're a little bit smaller diameter too. So on this, it'll be a 14 millimeter socket and we will go ahead and screw those securely. And then our next step, we're gonna take these brackets and we're going to put them through the holes here. If you have an older golf cart, you might have to drill through the frame to get to it, but make sure that you have the washer. We put it through and then on the bottom, you're gonna end up wanting to put another washer and nut. And these are 17 millimeter. So we'll pop that through, put a wrench on the bottom and tighten from the top. Thing we're gonna end up doing is taking this entire assembly and we're going to sit it under here. And I basically just set it and let it rest on the two sides here. And then we're gonna make sure this piece is behind on both sides. And then we're gonna use our hardware. Same thing, you're gonna to wanna to have a washer, put it through, then have another washer and a nut. And we're gonna get that hand tight. And I just hand tightened these a second ago as well. And then once you've got the bottom, I'm going to lift up just a little bit here to get that lined up here. And then we're gonna put the same bolts through, make sure you have the washer go through, then put a washer nut on the other side. Put this piece together, put the spacer, that way I can just pick it up and place it over here on both sides. So I think it'll make it a little bit easier to do with one person. But remember to, again, do the washer, go through, put the other washer in the nut, and this piece here is going to be splitting, going up and down there on both sides. And then the next thing we're gonna be doing is installing these little brackets. Make sure the metal portion here is on the inside. And we're just going to be putting our bolts through there and hand tightening them. The next thing we're gonna be doing is installing this foot rest. So I've just got it sitting within the brackets here. But as you can see, there is a place to put the bolts through. Set it on there. And then you will place the bolts. And it's recommending to use these guys right here. I forgot to put one step on here. So you're going to end up putting this bolt through on each side. And again, it's gonna be washer on each side. The next thing we're gonna do, make sure the metal bracket is on the inside where my thumb is. And it's going to go up into here. And then we can see our hole. And we're going to hold it up. Oops. And then put that bolt through here. And then same thing about the washers. This might be a mistake, but I'm gonna go ahead and go and tighten every bit of the hardware before I do the seats. So I think it'd just be easier to get to everything. Make sure when you're putting these pieces on that the fold goes to the inside to hold the bracket and this fold goes on the outside of the bar to hold it up. And you do that on both sides. And then on the bottom, you see where you can 
tighten the nuts. Old bracket assembly that I took off. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull out the seat using that bolt and that bolt. That way I can reuse the original seat on the new one. But that looks like that's all I'm gonna have to take apart and I can leave the rest of the assembly together if I were to need to sell it or whatever. So my hardware is a little bit too small and I actually went through the holes of the bracket. So I went ahead and used some of their washers. Not sure if you can tell here, but to make it fit a little better. So now it's sturdy. I ended up using the hardware and these are gonna take smaller washers and lock washers and we'll just pop it together there and there, making sure that our brackets are facing down. And then we have this arch up here. The seat onto this back rail, this bolt will go through when you have it lined up with the hole right there. And then we will put the nut and wash from the other and side. Our next step is going to be taking our six little screws here. And I'm gonna be holding the seat up against that to get it screwed in through these holes here. So we'll wanna make sure that you have the part that has the little notch in it. Actually, sorry, on this side. That way, when it's folded up, you can pull it out. We're almost through. Then our next step is gonna be using those two holes to line up with these two. We will put this piece on here and use the supplied bolts and then put our roof back on. And then we're just going to reattach the roof using the hardware that we already had with your golf cart. And we're about finished. So then we've got our ultimate tester here. What do you think, baby girl? Uh. Is it up to your standards? All right, let's get you down here. What do you think, girl? You want off? It's a long way down, girl. Can you do it? Oh, you did it? Yeah, you want down more? All right, but that's it, though. And then you can have this part just reach back and fold it and use it to move things. So I hope this video helps you guys out. Have a great day.